This is the, the big story that we are in fact uh, tracking when it comes to uh, Cyclone Dana. Cyclone Dana has already made landfall between uh, Bitterakanika National Park and Dhamra after midnight. Uh, Cyclone Dana made the landfall after 12 midnight and uh, it has resulted in rains. Now it has been said that there was a possibility of it weakening once the landfall was uh, completely carried out but it was also said that uh, the cyclone storm could in fact uh, recurve as well but as of now information coming in that uh, the cyclonic storm is still continuing its path of north north uh, westwards now when the cyclone center reached the land the wind speeds uh, reached almost 120 kilometers landfall forces uh, lasted for almost four hours and the system is being closely monitored by the Doppler weather radar at Paradeep. Odisha government has said that approximately 5.84 lakh people have been evacuated from high-risk, low-lying areas in the coastal areas. Meanwhile, Odisha Chief Minister Mohan Charan uh, Maji as well as CM Mamta Banerjee are monitoring the situation from their offices as uh, the cyclone made landfall. The visuals on track show the intensity of the cyclone uh, that uh, has been reported from Odisha as well as uh, the rains that are being reported from West Bengal. Uh, trees had in fact uprooted and uh, they were on the uh, roads and blocking it. Uh, we have the SDRF as well as the NDRF teams that were on standby as well as uh, the local uh, corporation teams that were asked to in fact ensure that the roads are cleaned. Uh, and also uh, their trees are in fact removed accordingly not to uh, ensure uh, that it would uh, lead to a whole set of blockades and also to keep the road uh, traffic moving especially of essential items that could be required cyclone shelters had been set up by the odisha as well as the west bengal governments to ensure that the evacuated people uh, could be taken in my colleague uh, Suman was on the ground. Let's listen in on to the report that he is in fact giving with regard to the cyclone. The destructive severe super cyclone Dana is making the landfall. And the landfall process started from 3.30 a.m. and it continued till the morning. And the West Bengal coastal region experienced heavy wind, heavy rain, all over night and in the morning also. Behind me, the sea, and the sea beach is totally lonely. No people is here. And you can see that the water level is rising in a risky way. People from Tajpur, Digha, Shankarpur, Mandar, Muni can remember the worst experience of Iyash. That time, the water of she entered into the village and the whole village was flooded. Now, this is the situation again. The super cyclone Dana is giving his destructive effect. Heavy rain, heavy wind setup, and it's tough to stand here right now just because the heavy wind. I don't know if you can hear my voice properly or not, but I can hear the roar of the sea. It's heavy rain all over the night. Many trees have been uprooted, the power supply is not there, and the situation is risky. So, Raj Sadhe Gyarah Baje Se Dhamra Ke Aas Pas, Ye Landfall Ki Jo Prakriya Hai, Wo Shuru Hui Hai, Or Subah Ke Paanch Sadhe Paanch Baje Ta Gyafir Me Kahun, Karuna Abhi Bhi Ye Chal Rahi Hai, Jo IMD Ka Data Hai, Uske Hisab Se Dhamra Se 20 Kilometer Aage Bhitar Kanika Kar Ke Ek Jagah Hai, Vaha Pe Abhi Ye Process Chal Raha Hai, और इसके बावजूद भी अगर यहाँ की बात करें जहाँ मैं खड़ा हूँ तो यहाँ भी अभी भी तेज हवाएं और तेज बारिश जो एक बार मैं अपने कैमरा पर्सन को बोलूँगा कि वो दिखाएं कि तेज हवाएं और तेज बारिश के बाद जो है ये पूरा का पूरा इलाका अभी आपको दिख रहा होगा तो ये स्थिति जो आपको मैं बताऊँ ये बहुत ही भयावह है और सबसे बड़ी बात है कि क्या हुआ है कितने नुकसान हुआ है जान माल की कितनी हानि हुई है ये कहना मुश्किल है मैं सिर्फ इतना ही बता सकता हूँ कि मैं जिस होटल में खड़ा हूँ उस होटल के कई सारे जो है पार्ट्स टूट गए हैं
कई सारी चीज़ें जो हैं बिखरी पड़ी हुई हैं यह बताने के लिए काफ़ी है कि आसपास कुछ ना कुछ हुआ है जो मुझे जानकारी है कई जगह पे पेड़ गिरे हैं कई पर मतलब कच्चे मकान टूटे हैं जान की को, कोई नुकसान हुई है कि नहीं ये कहना मुश्किल है क्योंकि अभी भी लैंडफॉल का प्रोसेस चल रहा है और जब तक ये प्रोसेस खत्म नहीं होगा तब तक कुछ कहना मुश्किल है Uh, the kind of situation that we in fact see with especially on the coastal districts of Odisha where trees have been uprooted and small hamlets as well as uh, uh, cottage houses have been destroyed. Uh, people in fact clearing the roads as they have been covered with fallen trees as well, uh, mostly from uh, Damra. We have visuals of uh, the intensity of that uh, particular heavy rains as well as uh, winds uh, coming in and blowing straight over the coastal areas. Uh, this is the visual that coming in when the heavy rains battered uh, Damra and uh, we can see how the rains uh, with the uh, 110 kilometers winds was in fact felt in a uh, Damra area. The, the intensity of it uh, in fact uh, uh, growing as uh, the landfall was taking place. Meanwhile, this is the path that has been uh, provided or predicted by the IMD, which is to say that uh, from the Bay of Bengal, the cyclonic weather would move inland uh, at Dhamra and uh, as it in fact moves towards uh, its uh, predicted path which is uh, northwards uh, northwestwards uh, it is being said that heavy rains could be expected in the southern districts of uh, west bengal as well as that of uh, jharkhand now after landfall after a couple of minutes uh, the cyclone is expected to weaken and become a low pressure storm system as it moves straight inside uh, odisha and already reports are coming in uh, that uh, there have been flood warnings that have been issued beca because of uh, Cyclone uh, Dana. Meanwhile, trains and flights have been affected. All flight operations at Kolkata Airport were suspended from 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. Uh, ETC, CNS, other key airport uh, officials to ensure the safety of passengers were designated uh, to ensure that uh, passengers do not uh, meet any kind of difficulties. Eastern Railway suspended all local train services from Selda. Uh, Selda Division serves at least six districts of West Bengal. These are in fact uh, precautionary measures that were taken by the Eastern uh, Railways. Uh, over 300 trains have been cancelled so far. But we were bringing you the kind of uh, problems faced by people, especially because of uh, Cyclone Dana, which has made landfall in Odisha. And uh, the reports are coming in that uh, there have been incidents where, because of uh, the wind speed, uh, where trees have been completely uprooted and they have fallen onto the roads. Well, let's take a look at uh, the visuals coming in from uh, the particular area, especially uh, from uh, Damra. These were the visuals that's come from Damra. As, uh, these visuals, in fact, show that uh, some of the huttons as well as uh, roofs of uh, shops with their tarpaulin sheets that were placed on the streets uh, were completely uh, damaged. Uh, they had been blown over by the winds that uh, struck the Damra region. These were, were visual. These are areas that were in fact pointed by the uh, by the administration that it would require uh, rescue teams in place uh, as it faces the cyclonic storm that has made landfall. These visuals, in fact, show that aluminium sheets were in fact uh, blown over by the wind uh, by the winds that had in fact struck the area. Tree fall has been reported in several areas of uh, Dhamra and uh, these are the visuals that uh, in fact show that uh, authorities uh, were in fact uh, trying to remove uh, the trees, uh, especially those that had fallen onto the roads.
My colleague uh, Suman Mahapatra is live from Tajpur Beach. Uh, let's cut across to Suman as to ask him what is the latest situation on the ground. Uh, Suman, what is the situation on your end? Uh, of course, I can see that the winds are blowing straight at you. Uh, it's more intense than what it was uh, before you gave your initial uh, report. Uh, situation here. The sea is getting crazy. The after after the landfall process completed, and and the scenario in, is in the Bengal coastal areas are too much dangerous and risky right now. The wind speed is too much high, and and I, I will show you the sea level. See see the visuals. The sea level is rising continuously, and the wind speed is getting much higher, much speedy, and the waves are getting. Getting, getting, getting more dangerous. Let me show you the visuals first. I am at Digha Mohuna. This is the area of fisheries, but but no no fisherman is present here just because of this bad condition of weather. Let me let me tell you that the heavy rain and the heavy wind is still continuing in this area, and the water level is rising continuously. For that reason only, the situation is getting. More dangerous here, and and after the landfall process completed, the the the, the wind speed is getting more, much higher, and 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 let me tell you that uh, let me tell you that the, the the heavy rain and the and the heavy wind is is making uncomfortable to stand here, and my camera person Makhon showing you the visuals that the wind making the sea crazy, and and let me show you. The wind waves, the sea waves are getting higher, and and the water level is also rising. Now, now let me let me take you to the enter of the port area. The fishermen used to uh, use this this road for the sea passage. Now this this area this area is much dangerous right now, just because of the sea wind and and the heavy rain. Let me tell you, the Bengal coastal area includes. Digha, Shankarpur, Mandarmoni, Tajpur. These areas are badly affected from today morning. Maybe there is no rain right now, but the wind speed is too much tough to stand here. The wind speed is too much high, and you can see, and you can see the sea. The the the, the sea is getting crazy after the time goes on, and and this is the situation right now in Bengal coastal area. The electricity is not fair. The the NDRM and SDRM is working hard to make people safe, but but the thing is that the coastal area, the whole coastal area, is in danger. It's very tough for you to, in fact, stand at that location and, in fact, uh, speak about it. You were saying that uh, the fishermen were, in fact, given prior warning, right, that they are not supposed to venture into the sea. Um, have all the fishermen been accounted for? Are there anyone somewhere who's in deep in the Bay of Bengal? Any news on that level? Find any trawler or the any fisherman's boat here because everyone, everyone has come back due to this bad weather situation. And the NDRA, SDRA, and the local administration made this made this possible that no one should present here. See, you can see that, na? The, the sea is sea level is rising. The water body is coming apart, coming forward. This road, this road is used to belong uh, to those fishermen who who start their trawler from this from this area now the water body is is coming much higher to this road only for that reason it's tough it's not possible 
to stand here and the, the no fisherman is present here and the wind speed the sea waves are getting much dangerous right now after the landfall process completed the dana cyclone we, we all thought that the situation will be little easier but let me tell you uh, after, after the landfall process completed from today morning only the situation is getting more dangerous just because the wind and the sea waves and and the water level is rising in the in the other parts also for that reason there is a possibility that the sea water can enter to the village and if this happens then the farmland will be destroyed the destructive nature of super cyclone dana you can witness you can witness the sea waves are touching me also just because of the heavy wind and the heavy waves here no one is here this is a lonely beach the administration is not allowing anyone to enter in this area but you can see the visuals the destructive visuals of severe super cyclone dana which which is damaging our coastal region for the long time and today uh, from morning this is this is dangerous this is getting more 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 dangerous uh, also sumanth how have the rescue teams conveyed the message to the coastal villages have they been evacuated completely right now as we speak uh, there's been reports saying that there were cyclone shelters that have been uh, set up in the coastal areas as well uh, how is the situation when when it comes to evacuation in the coastal areas The Odisha government evacuated one million people from the coastal region, and the Bengal government uh, is working on the shelter, flood shelters. People of coastal areas have been evacuated from their home, and they have been placed at the flood shelters. Uh, there are flood shelters from years from Ayala, and West Bengal government made them. So all people who were in danger, they have been evacuated to the flood shelters. But still, many people. who are not there who are still in their home they are in danger they spent the night in a nightmare situation and now bengal government is trying to make everything okay because uh, let me tell you that we don't have any any news that people died or something else but but the situation is that many trees have been uprooted electricity have been destructed not only that the whole area the road conditions were badly affected due to this reason uh, the west bengal government is working on the situation maybe there is a there 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 are many more ndrf or srf team will approach the coastal regions to to make everything okay but right now i can show you the visuals of the of the of the beach you can see that the sea waves are touching me this is not the right condition you know the sea waves used to be not here in the other uh, storms also but this time the sea wave is too high that that the, the, the water level is approaching this area so this is the situation right now and and let me show you that there is no rain right now but the heavy wind is making all the difficulties well thank you suman mahapatra also stay safe along with your cameraman ensure that you uh, reach a safe uh, location as fast as possible that was suman mahapatra who is in fact uh, giving us a complete uh, picture of what's happening at the tajpur beach especially after there has been uh, some kind of uh, Uh, approach taken by the local government to evacuate people as well uh, but uh, some of in fact uh, reporting about the kind of conditions that are prevalent in that region and as we were saying after the landfall uh, there have been uh, instances where uh, destruction has been reported in especially coastal districts where where uh, where the primary districts that in fact face uh, the wind speed after Uh, the landfall was made by the cyclonic storm uh, dana and there have been instances which uh, uh, reports have been coming in of uh, tree falls as well as uprooted poles that have been uh, reported